Tom Kimball, the founder and CEO of the LaSalle Network, a national staffing firm, joined us. Happy New Year, Tom. Happy New Year to you too, Mike. Good to see you. Nice to see you too. I can't believe it's 2022 and we're still talking about this. It is funny. The more you have to talk about it, the more of a slap in the face that we're not where we want to be as a society. And corporations are microcosms the same way universities are and uh, our congregations are and every other club that, that we might belong to or choose to work at. And in a company where you want to hire the best people and mentor the best people and your customer base is very diverse in most settings, you want to have an employee base that's diverse as well. Tom, it goes a lot deeper than just having an employee base that's uh, diverse. It goes into um, the fact on having equity, opportunity, uh, a deeply rooted sense of, uh, you know, believing in change or trying to let them feel like they belong. So it's not just that. I mean, we know now that uh, people of color don't get paid as well as people who are not of color. Yeah, I, I, I don't disagree with that, Mike. I, I think that it really depends on industry, on job, uh, and, and really on the company. And to stereotype all companies the same, I don't think is fair. However, you are right from the standpoint of there's a difference between inclusion and belonging. Like at our company, we say diversity, equity, and belonging. Because you can be included in something right. and may not feel like you belong. Exactly. Right? I mean, that that's really the, the difference. And and it really goes, it goes beyond race into gender and, and, and backgrounds and and all sorts of different things. But today's Martin Luther King Day, and that's why, why race is so important every day. And how, you, how a company, if it is primarily Caucasian, how they make people of different color feel belonging into that organization, how they onboard, how they educate, how they make the Caucasian people understand what somebody from a different background, race, creed, color is feeling. And that's the hard part because people don't like talk about things that make them feel uncomfortable. In life, in work, anywhere, most people don't want to talk about things that make them feel uncomfortable. And I think that the more we talk about it, the better we are at achieving that goal. Tell me a little bit about the LaSalle Network. Where do you guys stand as far as diversity is concerned? So right now, we're a little over 20% diversity, and that would be of, of race. A little and over 20%, you said? Could you, you cut yeah, out a little, little, a little over 20%. Okay. Yep. And we have a group called Community Champions, and under that, under that, we have diversity, equity, and belonging. And so we do different things like uh, we have a town hall meeting twice a week. And every week, if there's a holiday within that week of anything, could be Martin Luther King Day, could be one of Latino heritage, could be one of Asian heritage, whatever the, the holiday may be that people aren't familiar with, we have somebody do an education to our company on that. In addition to our onboarding, we spend time with people to understand what they need, what they want, what they're afraid of, what gives them anxiety. And then we also have help groups where we have a therapy organization come in and mediate and facilitate groups. And we have them on different things. And, and belonging in the workplace is one of them. So we really want to create an open environment where people talk about it. But the worst thing you can do is have a, a, a culture, an office environment where somebody talks about somebody being black or Asian or Latino and everyone's looking around the room to make sure that, that someone's that person there isn't represented. Defended. Or someone there well, is you represented. Want them to be represented. But but just saying the word shouldn't defend somebody because you're talking about things in a holistic way, right? And it, it's it's almost like the old stereotype of somebody looking over their shoulder before they tell a joke. You shouldn't be telling that joke if you have to look over your shoulder, right? And it's educating people in those in those ways that people who are different just want to be part of the conversation. They don't want even they don't even necessarily want it to be about them. They just want to be part of the conversation and make feel like they are writing their own narrative as part of the company. Yeah. Th benefits of diversity, creativity, innovation, pro professional growth, um, you know, better uh, making decisions and things like that. And I have to tell you before we go, because we're running out of time, I'd like to see a little more than 20% for LaSalle. Oh, I would too. There's absolutely no doubt about it. I mean, we're looking at a situation like most companies are, Mike, where you have to, you have to look at every position, who the applicants are, what they're applying for, what their background is, and what the skill set is. What we're doing is trying to train more and more people. And our goal by the end of 2023 is to have 40% uh, non-Caucasian in the, in the office. So we're making a really hard push on this as well. And I couldn't agree with you more. Bravo, my friend. Tom Gimbel, founder and CEO of the Cell Network. Always nice to talk to you.
I like when we agree on things, Mike. It makes me feel better. <laughs> me too. <laughs> See you later. <laughs>